Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are going to take a look at what is question number 26 that appeared in 2016 CBAC class 10 math exam and how do we solve question 26. So let's take a look and see what the question is. So the question state the angles of elevation, so there are more than one angle of elevation. The angles of elevation of the top Q of a vertical tower PQ. So the top is Q, so P must be the bottom. So the angles of elevation of the top Q of a vertical tower PQ from a point X on the ground is 60 degrees. From a point Y, which is 40 meter vertically above X, the angle of elevation of the top Q of the tower is 45 degrees. Find the height of the tower PQ and the distance PX. Use square root 3 equals 1.73. So let's make sure that we draw it properly because no figures are given to us. So we have a tower PQ, right? So let's let's go ahead and draw it step by step. So here what we have done, we have drawn a tower PQ, right? And Q is the top and P is the base of the tower and X is any point certain distance away from the tower right because it clearly states that the the angles of elevation of the top Q of a tower PQ from a point X right now the angle of elevation is given as so this is the angle of elevation from point X and this angle of elevation is 60 degrees. This is given to us. This is 60 degrees. Right? Then uh, from a point Y which is 40 meter vertically above X. So let's draw that now. So we draw a straight line uh, XY such that this height is 40. 40 meter. Right? So why such a point which is 40 meter vertically above X? Now from this point Y, the angle of elevation of Q, which is going to be this line. So from angle of elevation from Y will be this line. And that angle is given as 45 degrees. So this is the angle of elevation of the top of the tower Q from point Y. And this is 45 degrees. So what is that we have to find out? We have to find out the height of the tower PQ. So we have to find out PQ. What is the value of PQ? We have to find this. And we have to find out the distance PX. We have to find out PX. So these are two things that we have to find out. So how are we going to go ahead and solve this question? So we have two triangles. So first of all, let's, let's do one thing. So if XY is 40, then let's let's say this point is r so let's call this point r which is this point right then this will be 40 right because pr is going to be the same as xy right let's assume that this length rq is h let's assume rq RQ is H. Then PQ will be really 40. This is 40 plus H. Right? Now, so let's take a look at triangle RQY. So if we take a look at triangle RQY, so this is 90 degrees. This is 45 degrees. So we can say that tan 45 degrees right will be equal to rq by yr now let's do one thing so yr let's say this distance is lowercase d right so that means px is going to be lowercase d as well right d for distance so let's say assume this is d so now tan 45 we know that is equal to 1 
So we have RQ, which is this, which is H. So H by D is equal to 1. Or from here, we can say H is equal to D. So we will say this is our first equation, where this height is equal to the distance. Right? Let's give us a little bit more space. Now what we have is, so we know this is H. This is R. Right? So this is R and this distance is H and we know this is 40. Now we will take a look at triangle PQX. PQX. We are trying to make sure, make use of both of the angles which are given. That's why we took the triangle RQY. Now we are trying, we are taking the triangle PQX. So if you look at this triangle, so here we see that tan 60, which is the angle of elevation here, tan 60 will be PQ, right? It will be PQ divided by PX, PX. Or PQ now, this entire length PQ is really H plus 40, right? Because PQ is nothing but PR and RQ. So it's 40 plus H or H plus 40 and this distance is D, right? So this is D. Now the value of tan 60 degrees is square root 3. We know this. The value of tan 60 degrees is square root 3. So what we have is we have H plus 40 is equal to D times square root 3. Now we saw from equation 1 that h is equal to d. So we will replace h by d. So we have d plus 40 is equal to d times square root 3. In other words, so let's continue on with this. So this is d, this is d, and this is h, and this is 40. So we have d plus 40 equal to d times square root 3. So we will take this d on the other side. So we will get d times square root 3 minus 1 equal to 40. Or we will have d will be equal to 40 divided by square root 3 minus 1. Now we know that whenever we have usually square root in the denominator, we try to rationalize it. So we are going to multiply both denominator and numerator by the fraction square root 3 plus 1. So why are we doing that? Because we want to change the denominator to a square minus b square form. So that way the square root 3 whole square will become a it will become a whole number and the square root will go away. So if we do this, so in the numerator we will have 40 times square root 3 plus 1 divided by denominator will become square root 3 whole square minus 1 whole square. So if we just continue this over here, so we will get, so numerator will be 40 times square root 3 plus 1 and the denominator will be 3 minus 1. Square root 3 times, times square root 3 is 3 minus 1. So this will be actually 2 and 40 divided by 2 will be 20. So 20 times. Now the question stated that use square root 3 as 1.3. So we are going to use 1.73 I should say. So this plus 1 or in other words simply we will have this is 20 times 2.73. Right? 2.73 so if you multiply this, so it will be 2 3s are 6, 2 7s are 14, 1, 2 2s are 4, 1 5, and then we have 0, and there is your know, decimal here after uh, 2 digits, so there will be a decimal after 2 digits. So this many meters. Now what is this? This is actually D. So this is going to be D. So D is the distance 
Px. So remember we have to find Px. So Px will be 54.6. So if you multiply this, just double check that one more time. 2 3 is a 6, 2 7 is a 14, 1 carry over, 2 2 is a 4 and 1 5. Yeah. 54.6. Now what about, so Px we found it. Right, so Px we have found it to be 54.6, but we still have to find out Pq. Right, so if this is D, this is D, and we just saw that D is equal to 54.6 meters, and D is equal to Px. Right, but remember from equation 1, so we can say from our equation 1, what we have is we know that h is equal to d right so h is this height so this height is equal to d we saw that from equation 1 and this is actually 40 so that means so from here this implies that h is equal to 54.6 right now what is the height of the tar pq PQ is nothing but 40 plus H or it will be 40 plus 54.6. In other words, if you add this, this will be 94.6 meters, right? So this will be 94.6 meters. So friends, we have actually solved the question. We have found out the value of Px. Px is going to be 54.6 meters. And the height of the tar Pq, Pq will be equal to 94.6 meters.